Hey crafters, welcome to another edition of I Show You My Stuff, where I kind of do the reverse. I'll show you what I've made and then I talk a little bit about how I've made it if you're interested. So in this uh, episode, I want to show you this royal carpet I made. Uh, I really wanted to give some kind of detail to this throne room to make it, you know, seem regal. And the, the throne room was so drab itself, you know, it'd come into disrepair, it was dirty and, you know, crumbling pillars. So I really wanted to add a shock of color to this to really make it dynamic. And uh, let's go to the table and I'll show you what I came up with. I show you my stuff with DM Scotty. We zoom in here to the throne room. We have the large double doors. Then we go over those and we see the really neat carpet that I featured. And uh, here we go. We zoom in into the lady covered with the white veil. So here we go. Here's the uh, tile uh, all in all its glory. Uh, the double doors open and our adventurers come in. And you can see how that carpet really gives a uh, nice touch of color to this otherwise drab room. I really like that since this is a throne room. We have my lady with the veil. Uh, I think it's really creepy looking. I just put a piece of uh, tissue over that with soaked in white glue and that's all I did to, to make that veil. So the guys move in. It's very dark in here and uh, then some zombies start coming out of the shadows. They were either laying on the ground or hidden in the shadows and start crawling out from the edges of the room. So, yeah, the party's kind of in a pickle now. So, but uh, yeah, more zombies crawling from out, from every crevice in the room. So, ah, that's a lot of zombies. All right, so there's the, uh, the scene. Uh, one cool thing though is this dragon throne, uh, which I did a video on, you can watch that. It slides forward and I have a secret passage uh, that the players could take um, if they find the right way to un un unlatch it. So that's kind of neat. And so they can go down there. They could flee the scene if they wanted. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, kind of neat feature to this tile. And uh, there we go here. I'll show you the Dragon Throne. So yeah, if you remember, I did a, a video on this and I'll do the link here for you. And so that's my throne room with the uh, carpet. To start out the carpet, I just used a regular piece of paper and measured out two and a quarter inch wide and then drew the strip all the way down the, to the end of the paper. And then I painted it on with a royal purple and I used a, uh, I watered it down so it'd be kind of splotchy, which is an old carpet so I wanted it to look that way anyway. Now um, after I got this painted and dried, I painted uh, white lines along the edge with just white and then some details in the corner and the edges. And then my next task, um, I wanted to give a royal symbol, so I painted this dragon um, with a thin brush in white, just right in the center of the carpet there. And um, I wanted to stress it, it's an old carpet, so I put some black on the edges. I also cut a few uh, pieces out of the center there and then put some black around the edge that looked like it was uh, distraught. And I thought that came out really nicely. Now here it is, I've cut the carpet out of the paper itself and I distressed the edges you can see there. That's really nice. And I had a couple choices. I could um, put this on a cardstock and put it on the tile, but I decided just to glue it right to the tile. So here's the tile itself and I just glued it right down uh, leading right up to the throne. Hey guys, I really hope you like this episode. Uh, simple but uh, dynamic uh, technique. If you like this kind of crafting, make sure to check out my forum and Facebook page. A uh, great group of people. Also, um, I have lots and lots and lots of videos, over 300 now. So uh, if you're looking for some subject on uh, wargaming or RPGing, you're probably going to find it here. So uh, check out my other videos. And until next time, go forth and craft!